Hi, Katie Jane Waterhouse here. One of the things that often surprises me when I'm talking with potential clients or with friends, or just colleagues or people in general, is that there is a real resistance as human beings to change things that are really in our control to improve our health. So for example, people who have suffered with some kind of illness or ailment, whether it be digestive issues, perhaps someone's pre-diabetic, um, it could be things such as um, endometriosis or really bad migraines, you know, the whole gamut of you know, common health issues. And often a lot of these things can really be, if not cured, definitely improved just by lifestyle changes. And so many of us as human beings seem really resistant to changing our lifestyle, that we will take a tablet if we go to a doctor and they say, okay, well, you'll be able to fix this if you take this tablet at this time every single day for the rest of your life. Or perhaps we can do surgery or perhaps, you know, whatever the other alternatives are. We seem to think that they are better alternatives than actually changing our lifestyle. And when I say lifestyle, that really encapsulate the things that you put in your body, the foods that you eat, the things that you choose not to eat, how we move our body, increase the amount of movement or change the way that we move so we're not putting stress on our body and our joints. Perhaps it's about improving our bedtime routine. Maybe we don't even have a bedtime routine um, or a morning routine. Maybe it's the way we speak to ourselves. It's fasting, it's prebiotics, it's probiotics. Like all of these things, these are all lifestyle things. One of the things I hear most commonly uh, from clients or uh, uh, people that I speak with is that they say, it's just in my family. It's genetic, it's been in my family, my mum had it, and my uncle or my aunties have had it, my cousins have got it. The reason things are generally in someone's family is because we continue to keep a very similar, if not the same lifestyle as our parents or our grandparents or other people that we spend time with. So we tend to eat the same foods and move in the same ways. Not always, this is you know, a gross generalization, clearly. But often those lifestyle, it's not that it's in the family, it's that the lifestyle is in the family. And even if it is in your family, try and give it a go. This is all I encourage people to do. You know, work with a coach or, or do research yourself or ask questions. But perhaps there's things you could be leaving out of your diet, like just try it for a little while. If getting headaches and migraines is like something that occurs to you, perhaps you have a gluten intolerance, perhaps dairy sets it off. Stress is a massive one. What are you doing to help a, stop the stress coming, the overwhelm, and when it does come, what are the things, the steps you're taking you know, to, to stop that? Such as, are you going for walks and clearing your head? Do you enjoy going to the beach? Do you like riding a bike? Do you do meditation? Do you just like you know, lighting a candle and lying in the bath? Like There are so many avenues to explore when we talk about changing lifestyle. But as you change one little thing, and I'm a believer in that, you know, Sometimes it works for some people to overhaul their entire lives and definitely when I coach people there are certain clients and they give it their all and they change everything. But for a lot of us it's easier to take small incremental changes. So have a look at something you can do to change you know, your lifestyle or what's in your family and see out of experiment and personal experience whether that actually fits and helps you because we're all really different. But yeah, as I said, I get very surprised at our reluctance when everyone knows so many people say oh I know I just need to eat better I need to move more I need to be less stressed but they won't do anything about it and it's so frustrating as someone who cares so deeply about other people and about health and I understand how easy it is to be able to have good health particularly as we get older because it's harder as you get older it seems that way anyway if you haven't already set up a really good foundation but there are so many tools available. So next time you think, oh, it's just in my family, everyone was overweight or everyone gets migraines or, you know, or diabetes is just the thing. Really, you know, you start asking some questions, start investigating that a little bit further and see whether it may, might be just a bit of an excuse and a cop out. And maybe it's actually that the lifestyle is in your family, not necessarily that illness or ailment is. And perhaps you can do something about it now. Anyway, feel free to ask me questions, send me a DM, check out my website for more tips.